What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk. Brought to you by me, inspired by Chili. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little story real quick. The other day, my little brother was trying to buy some land. He's looking to build a house. His family's growing. And uh, he found the piece of land he wanted. Old redneck down the road here had three tracks for sale. And he approached the guy and said, hey, I'd like to buy all three tracks of that land. And the guy said, well, I can't sell all three tracks of that land. Uh, I can only sell you one. And maybe next year I can sell you another. And maybe the year after that I can sell you the other. But I can only sell one right now. And my brother said, well, what's up with that? He said, well, my tax man told me that if I sold all three of these pieces of land all at once, it's going to put me in a higher tax bracket. And it's going to cost me a pile of money. Now, what's the lesson behind this? Some old redneck down the road that can't even sell his own private property without getting screwed over by the government. What's the lesson behind this? The whole system that is in place, and most especially the tax system, its only purpose is to keep you from ever getting ahead. That is the only purpose. Taxes are so high, it's so much of a burden, the government knows that it is dang near impossible for you to ever become financially independent. All right? That's what it's all about. If you think for even a second that the taxes you pay to your government are used for anything, you're living in some fantasy land. The money you pay into taxes isn't used for anything. You're paying that, and it's actually not even money. It's just currency. It has no actual value. But the, but the, the currency that you're paying for taxes, it's not used for anything, man. Uh, we're paying over half of our income to a government that is how many trillions of dollars in debt? Oh, that's that's a magical number too. The government does what the crap they want, man. And if they if they need currency for anything, guess what they do? They just print it. See, the government knows that if you ever get ahead, if you ever get financially independent, um, it frees you up to do things. It frees you up to um, start helping other people more. It frees you up to become more self-sufficient, more independent. You'll never need a handout. You'll never need any of that stuff. They know that. So their goal is to keep you and me and everybody else struggling. I remember the first year of business here at 307 Project when we got the tax bill at the end of the year. I almost closed the doors because I, I looked at my little brother and I said, hey, man, if we if this is what we're going to have to pay at the end of every year, I don't understand how we are going to make this work and feed ourselves. Why doesn't the government want small business? Because they can't control small business. Small business promotes community and reliance on each other. Small business is the foundation, and entrepreneurship is the foundation. It's one of the foundational elements of our country. Now, they want big corporate entities to control everything that you buy, that you purchase. They want, they want it all. They don't want it in, in your hands. And I can guarantee you the number one reason that small business businesses fail uh, as long as the person is hardworking and makes good decisions, the number one reason that a small business fails is because of the tax burden that's placed on us as small business owners. It's almost impossible to make it work. Now, there's only a couple of ways that we can get around this. Uh, the first and most optimal way would be for everybody, all of us, to um, just say, no, nah, screw you. We're not, we're not giving you half of our income. Nope, ain't doing that. That would be real nice if uh, we would all decide to do that. You know that's what happened way back when, 
uh, that's how all this this country came about, right? It was it was all over um, taxation without representation. People got tired of it. They stood up and said, no, screw you. And uh, the government didn't like that back then. They wouldn't like it now. It would cause some fighting. Um, but until that happens, the only way to beat this is to work hard enough, be smart enough uh, to basically make three or four times the amount of money that you need to survive. Uh, and if you want to become financially independent, if you want to become, let's say, a, a millionaire, you better come up with a plan to make about four million dollars, uh, four or five million dollars, and and then you'll 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 have enough left over to be financially independent. Uh, that requires a lot of work, a lot of ingenuity, you know, and it's so confusing. It's so confusing. This is another thing that I have to hire someone, pay someone to tell me even how to pay my taxes, a CPA. They've made it so confusing that then not only do I have to pay my taxes, but I have to pay somebody to tell me how to pay my taxes. It's about time, son. It's about time. Y'all know it. Y'all feel it. It's about time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a comment. Go to the website, buy a hat, buy a t-shirt. Chili wanted me to let you know he's got the store back in stock. Go get some. Keep that joker in the dungeon, packing them jokers, man, so that I can pay more taxes. <laughs> Love you guys. Enough said.